Located in Waco, Texas, family, leather crafters, artisans, hobbyists, and vendors gather in the Waco Convention Center for the very first Heart of Texas Leather Show. As you pass through the door, the smell of fresh leather guides you through the halls and exposes a large room filled with the rustling of leather sides, the hum of sewing machines, the tap-tap of leather stamps, and the dull roar of leather craft talk. This is Leather Country, and this show gives you a first-hand look into the lives and work of so many talented individuals. From custom leather tools, high-quality leather and hardware, this show has everything a beginner or seasoned leather crafter would need. My name is Cheryl Reese. I am the co-owner of Leather Crafters and Saddlers Journal, and my husband Ralph Salome and I put on um, the Heart of Texas Leather Show. This is our first Heart of Texas Leather Show um, here in Waco. We plan on staying in Waco. It's a beautiful town. It's a beautiful facility. There's room for growth. Lots of room for growth. <laughs> a little bit about the show is that it's here for the makers. So whether you're a hobbyist, a craftsperson, or a professional um, in any capacity of leather work, the goal here is to provide all manner of leatherworking items for you to make your gear. If you have a question about a machine or any kind of leather or any kind of um, tool or anything like that, this is a place for you to come, ask that question, find what you need, and um, you know, improve your leather work. We have workshops going on all week long. This year we had about 45 on tap, and uh, those workshops vary from learning how to floral draw, to carve, carving, and also to um, marketing yourself so you can sell what you make and make more money. <laughs> we have some youth workshops, we offer a free workshop for veterans, and um, it just runs the gamut. So. If you ever had any questions about the Leather Crafters uh, trade shows, we also uh, run one in Sheridan, Wyoming and Prescott, Arizona, and we have one overseas as well. So it's, we're just all about bringing the good news of Leather Craft to as many people as we have possibly can and uh, making it more accessible to everyone. There is just something to holding a tool, sifting through conchos, or admiring other craftsmen's work that cannot be expressed in words. A show like this unlocks all of your senses and fills you with a rush of inspiration and the motivation to hone your craft. I had the pleasure of speaking with many of the vendors and artisans during the show, and by speaking with them, was able to better capture their passion for leather. Hi y'all, I'm Paul Zalazak with Leather Wranglers, and me and my wife Rosa run our little home-based business out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. 
Just being in Texas, I love being in Texas. And um, I make swivel knives and round knives and trim knives and awls and such. And uh, we were asked what kind of sets us apart. Well, our swivel knife is made out of aluminum. Our, our flagship knife is made out of aluminum. And um, our blade is a you know real special alloy, so it holds an edge a good long time. And we just take pride in making tools that make your life easier, you know, improve your quality of life and make your end product better. So what we deliver to you helps you deliver a better product to your customer because it makes your job a little easier. And just to kind of give you an idea, uh, one of our customers was just here. Some of y'all might know him, Michael Francis, off of Facebook and Instagram. He bought this all from me about 10 years ago, and he uses it pretty much every day for hand stitching and such. And um, it'll still go through leather with just a couple fingers. So. He said that I ought to show that off a little bit because it ain't very often somebody brings back an all blade 10 years later and it still works that good. So there it is, 10 years worth of use and working great. Hi, hi my name is Jacob from SprayGunner.com. We're from Tampa, Florida. Don't worry, we ship all over the U.S. Our main attraction at this show is what's called the cordless compressor. So you can spray the Phoebe's leather dyes, you can spray acrylic paints through it, no problem. The acrylic paints you are going to need to thin down a little bit more than the leather dyes just because they're a little more watery. This thing goes for $65 on our website. The charge time on it is about 45 minutes if you're just constantly holding down the trigger. But most people aren't going to be doing that so it's more like 4 hours. Uh, to recharge it, there's just a little USB adapter that's uh, inside of it. So, no worries, you can still use it while it's charging as well. Oh, I'm Bobby Park, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I've been involved with uh, the Leather Crafter and Saddle Journal shows for quite some time. We uh, were excited to finally have a show here in Waco. This area has needed one for a long time. I, I teach classes, I uh, also am a tooler, I have a booth here that you can see. And what I, my passion is to teach people how to tool leather and what they can do with it. Because when I was growing up, there wasn't anyone to do that. And I think it really helps people out and it helps to increase the, the interest in the industry when you can help people, they can get one-on-one -on -one instruction. And so that's what I do. I teach the tooling, I teach drawing. I have, a, I have a book that I wrote uh, about how to design and compose your own patterns. Uh, I seem to be the edge guy, so I teach how to burnish edges, and I've come up with some products that help, help that process along. So we teach things like that in these, in these shows. Uh, I generally teach about six classes and run anywhere from 75 to 100 students at each one of these shows. Then after the show, we're here in the booth, and this is my most fun time because I get to talk with people who have the same passion for leather that I do. So would you like to see this show continue in Waco? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, this, this area has needed a show for a long, long time. Uh, there's been a show in Prescott, Arizona, and there's been a show in Sheridan, Wyoming. And for people to come from this side of the country to, 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 to travel there is expensive and, and a difficult thing to do. So I know the Leathercrafters journalists tried for a long time to come up with a location and do their shows out here, and uh, Waco ended up being the place, and I think it's a perfect location for us. I'm with the commercial department for Tandy Leather. I'm Karen. This is Karen, she represents all of Texas. She sells a lot of leather. <laughs> uh, we were asked to talk a little bit about the importance of doing this show, and it is, uh, it is a wonderful thing, because we get to meet all the different leather crafters out there, as well as all the different wonderful vendors that sell all sorts of anything that has to do with leather. <laughs> Tools and all the hardware, and of course, all of the leather. Ooh. Endless supply of leather here. Uh, but yep, we work with Tandy Leather. We also um, want to talk to y'all a little bit about our commercial department. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little new for us. It's only a couple years old, but we, uh, we absolutely have a lot to offer at TV. Anything, any any leather crafter out there, we have a niche for you, from your hobbyists all the way up to your manufacturers and just pumping out endless leather goods. And we can totally supply you with whatever you need when it comes to making anything to do with leather. <laughs>
But um, thank you for having us, and uh, we hope to uh, see y'all soon. So whether you're there to meet saddle makers and teachers like Don Gonzalez, get introduced to the Oak Tote, purchase a Cobra sewing machine, experience your first piece of Herman Oak leather, or just look in awe at the tooling of master craftsmen, there was just one last question I had before I left. Will the show be back? So we've already gotten our dates on the books for next year's show here in Waco. We plan on having it annually. Um, so everyone keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> the whole point of getting the show launched in its first year is to capture as much visitor information as we can. And it's blown us out of the water. How many people have come to support us, support our vendors. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, we had to reprint visitor cards this morning. <laughs> we ran out of registration cards and registration bags. So next year we'll plan for double that many and that way no one goes home empty handed. <laughs> the one thing about the Heart of Texas Leather Show that I loved was that no matter your background, profession, skill level, or artistic style, we all shared the same passion to learn, make, and as Don Gonzalez put it, start a renaissance in this lost trade.